Hey, what's up, guys? This is Noah B eighty two eighty three, and welcome back. Well, and actually, welcome back. Nothing <laughs> again. Well, but today I'll be showing you how to make a professional-looking YouTube channel background with GIMP. It's not very hard, anyway. All you're gonna need is click the media fire download link in the description and download this. And it should look like this. Yes. And what you're gonna do is gonna open up GIMP. That should be in the description too. Okay, so what you can you just open it, go to desktop or wherever you saved it, click on it, open. And it should open it. So what you're gonna do is first thing, see if you want to change the sides, you don't you, you don't have to change the middle if you don't want to. But if you just want to change sides or the middle, basically, you just use the rectangle tool and click and drag and then what you're gonna do is click the gradient tool make sure you select your color so I want I want red and then um purple and then you just drag from top to bottom and look what it does boof basically you can do the same thing see if I wanted to do it with the middle if I just want to drag boom and then click boomer <laughs> okay yeah see and now okay do 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 there we go anyway i kind of messed up right there but you can make yours better then what you're going to do is to make it look even cooler hold on let me Control L to open up layers. Okay, so you're gonna go to create logos. You can pick any one of these, but I pick frosty because it looks cool. Pick. I'm gonna pick red. I'm gonna pick yeah. Zero print. And now I'm gonna type type your username right here if you want this to be. Hit OK. Sparkling. See what that looks like? Ain't that cool? Okay, image. Oh, none. Okay, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna save this. So you're gonna be like, okay, save as, save it to the desktop or where if you like it, save it. I'm gonna put Noah dot jpeg and then save, export, save, and it should be there. So you're done with that. Then you just do this and drag that in there. Drag it in. And look at it. Look at it. And now what you're going to do is. I'm <clears throat> sorry. You're going to click in the center and rotate it. See. See. And then just click this. Try and see. I want to hit it exactly 90 degrees. 90.00. 0. And then you want to click the move tool. And see how it doesn't fit? No problem. You can scale the image. Click this. Click at the corner. And move it until it fits. Right about the, there. And hit scale. And look what it did. It made it fit. Oh my gosh. And what you can do now is. You can duplicate that layer. And then. See, and now you can just move one, and that one's still there. And now you can just rotate this however you want it. Okay, click in the center. And then stop, and then hit rotate. But first, you're going to do it 90 degrees. Yes. Wait, I think that's wrong. Maybe let's try 160. No, it's negative 90. Pick negative 90. There we go. Okay, it's negative 180. But anyway, you can do it anyway. You want, and then move it. Move it and make sure it's kind of near the line at least. And so you can add anything you want to it. You can do that. You can add photos. You can add text box. I can change this completely to how I want it. See, I want to change the purple. 
Well, actually, you have to select it first. Select the layer C. Boom, 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 boom. See, and you can just do anything you want, basically. It's not hard at all. And it looks professional. See, hold on. Let's save this, and I'll show you what it looks like whenever I'm done. Save as. No. Okay. Let's save it to a pictures. Export. Save as. Okay, now let's go see what it looks like. Go to computer. Where's pictures? See and open it and look what it looks like. There we go. See and that's what it'll look like on your channel. Doesn't that look awesome? And you can change it however you want it. You can do anything to it. So, I guess that's it for this episode, guys. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!